everyone. Welcome back to the O So and So. So, today is April the 8th. And it is freezing rain outside. Cold. It's in the low 30s. We were supposed to set up for the Watertown yard sale, but I guess we have other plans now. So you know me, if uh, plan A doesn't work out, we go to plan B. So today, we're gonna try to finish up my kitchen and my eating area. So, Let's go to the list. Here we go. Now, I've done everything on here. I've even gone through the small little tan cabinet and pulled out all of my dishes that I use to set my table. So, I've done that. So excited. Now, we're gonna set the table. Um, and the dishes and stuff that I don't want, I'm gonna sell. But the ones that I'm planning to keep, I'm gonna put them under that cabinet where I had my food that I put up there, which was perfect. All right, so let's, let's, let's get going. Let's see what we can do here. Um, so let me show you, let me show you. I mean, that's a lot. All of this, all of that back there, all of that, and all of that was in that cabinet. That's pretty good, right? All right, so now we are going to play with what we have to set the table. Let me bend you guys down so you can see. Now, I know a lot of you people, you probably don't even think about setting a table and keeping it this way, but um, I don't know. I, I like setting a table. Um, it gives me a chance to decorate something else. So, that's what we're going to do today. Now, I have six place settings. I'm going to pull this off. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to use something else. So, let me put this in the living room. And then, we'll decide what we're going to use for the table. And this is basically where I work and do videos and stuff, so. All right, so now, what look and what color do I want to go with? So we have options. And our options are We have just red plates. We have just blue plates, which I think these are beautiful. We have white ones. We have some that have chickens on them, which this is what I kind of do. I take a plate and then I layer it like, uh, here is maybe a white bowl or each one looks a little different and blow off the dust. <laughs> See? And we can even layer and layer and layer. All righty. So... That's a choice. I also have, I have all kinds of napkins. 
I have this kind, the metal, and I have white ones. So it just depends on what color we are going to go to. Now, I do have one plate. I don't have a lot of brown, but I absolutely love this plate. So even though I'm not going to use it on this table, maybe on another table. Of course, you know, there we go. <laughs> I makes it even shorter. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I even have just, um, let me sit you back this way. Um, I even have just white. So we have to decide what look do we want to go to, you know. So this is a dinner. <clears throat> This would be a salad. Um, we could always do this, depending on what color. You could take and add the blue. So, that's the next thing. What are we going to be using on the table now, um, I do have a lot of red. Um, maybe a, a little bit of white with the accent of red. Um, I have the white with the gold. Might look pretty, very basic. And then we can always fold the napkins. Really cool. Alrighty. So let's see. I think I kind of like that. Oh, and then of course, when you set the table, I always love the vintage glasses. Now that, let me make sure I hold on to them. They don't slide off in the, see? Now that's pretty. I think I'll go that way. Alrighty. So, let me get you turned around. Let me set that down so I don't drop it. Look, all the stuff is blooming outside. I can't believe this weather. But, you know, that's one thing that you do not have control over is the weather. So, set our table. Okay, now I um, like to make sure that they're about an inch from the edge. right across from each other. Okay. Now, let's go get the rest. We are doing the red plates. Now, when I buy plates for display, I always buy six to eight because we have one more leaf for this table and we can sit, you know, eight here with no problem. So, these go in the middle. I use the, uh, the cheap little napkins that you get on clearance to put in the middle of them so they don't clang. Even if you don't use the napkins for your table and they're, sometimes you can get them for like 30 cents, depending on where, maybe even at a thrift store for less. So it's always good to pick these up for packing and things like that. 
All right, so we're going to put these back over here. And let's get our glasses and the little plates. Now, if I didn't want to put the plates in the center, I could always put them here, which we can do that. Let's do that because that means we might get another piece. Let's see. Looks like there's. Do I need to scoot that down? I think I do. Perfect. There we go. Now. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Where is it? Where? Do you... Oh, ha <laughs> ha. I left it over here. Now my husband, he gets aggravated sometimes when I do this. When it comes time for dinner, he says, well, Susan, where are we going to sit? I said, we're going to sit at the table. All we have to do is just do this and put it over here. <laughs> I know. So funny. All right, everybody has a glass. Perfect, because I have eight of these glasses, and I really like them. They make me think of spring and summer. All right, so now we have an option, and we have napkins, big napkins, small napkins, We have, these are older napkins. We have just red. And we have these. Now, these are dish towels. And so let me show you what you can do with the dish towel if you don't want to put it beside your plate. This is just a little something that I like to do that gives it a little more. Let me do this one on the end so you can see what I'm talking about. See, it adds just a little something to it. And then I think we might even can incorporate these bowls while we're at it. Now, let's do the rest of these. I've changed like three times today. First, I put old work clothes on and I layered because I knew that we were going to be outside in the cold. But at the time, I didn't know it was going to be this cold. Pretty. Okay, two more. And then there, we're done with that. Now, I think I got these at Home Goods years ago. And I think it was like a set of two for like four bucks. You could also use this 
as um, the placemat underneath if you wanted something different. Let's see what that looks like while we're talking about it. You still can have it coming off. Your plate in the middle. Your bread dish. And the glass. So it gives it a different a different kind of look, just depending on what you would like to do with your table. I'm just going to fold this one back up. As you can see, I only use these for display. I really don't use them in the kitchen because I don't think these have ever been washed. I always like to tuck that little tag in so the ones that is sitting on the other side does not see the tag. Okay. Get my tag. Good. It's tucked in. Now, I would like, I have an option. We have two kinds of knives. Where's my other knives? Is it under here? Here it is. Okay. I got these at the thrift store. 10 cents, okay? And then, these are um, a bone handle. Very nice. This was a gift to us from Todd's mom. So, we have options. We can put them like this, with the red, or we can do the bone. Um, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a toss up. It does the red does pull from the plate, so maybe this time I will use the red. Go crazy with this and put fake food out. This cabinet right here <laughs> it has the fake food. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we've got that done and that done. Now, um, we could do a napkin or not. I do have this bigger size. Let me put all this stuff out of my hands. I have a bigger size. And then I have a smaller size. Now we could do two things. We could use the big ones. for the napkins. And as you know, your napkin always goes on the left side. We can tuck it, and if we wanted to, we could put the smaller one under the glass. That's kind of much, isn't it? It does look nice, though. What would you do? Would you add 
or not at all? Would you do fake food or what? Um, let's see what it looks like with just that. Um, I think, I think let's go with, hmm, you also could do them to where you fan them. I know you used to do this in school. You could fold it in half. And you could put that in your glass or in the bowl. Let's see if it would stay in the bowl. That adds a little something different. Can you see? So you have a lot of options. Um, I think we're just gonna go the regular way. Now, what have we got to put in the middle? We have a lot of stuff we can choose from. I definitely do not think we need any more red. Of course, you could use whatever color you have. You know, if you even wanted to set up your Easter table to where you had time to think of what you could add to it. Sometimes setting up a table is what you're planning on serving. Now, if I wanted to, I could serve fruit first and then a salad or a salad and fruit to where they can eat from both. And then you take all these up and then they can either take their plate with them to the stove or you can serve from the table, which I don't think there's that many people that serve from the table anymore. Um, I think, um, I think I quit doing that years ago because it was so convenient just to keep it at the stove. That way you didn't have to worry about passing it around. Alrighty. So, and if I wanted to, I could go with a lighter. <clears throat> and if that's too much red, we could always trade it out for something else. We could, we could do this. We could take the, the check it, chicken plates. We could do this. Too much. It's a nice thing about it is. Or we could let's see. I could do blue. Kind of break it up a little bit. That's the nice thing about it is you can just play and play. Sometimes when I decorate like this, I feel like I'm playing house like I did when I was a little girl. All righty, so now let's think about what do we have around the house that we could use for the center. Now, we have a lot of stuff. We have candles. We have books. Um, I don't think we should put our chickens out. Let's see, what do we have that we might like?
like to use. It needs to be broken up. Hmm. Well, let's see. That's the nice thing. Oh, wonder. I wonder if this dough bowl, oops, might be too much. I don't know. I think it's going to be too big. Too big, too much, even if I took the stuff out. It's going to be too big. So, let's maybe use just books and candles. We definitely have that. We have all kinds of candles and books and layer um i know i have another candle i need one more candle let's see i spy with my eye another candle where is another candle goodness i can't believe it one. Okay. Now, I would have liked to have found one that's a little smaller, but when you're sitting at a table, you don't want your displays in the middle to be too tall. And I guess I wouldn't recommend using, you know, red books because we definitely have red. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep playing <laughs> okay, so I've never showed you this. I even have fake salad. I know. I even have fake salad. I got this at an antique store. And I'm like, oh my goodness, how perfect is that? I mean... <laughs> My goodness look how fun how fun would that be <laughs> if you could see it look now that's funny um I also have um uh, fake um candies beans eggs fruit, dessert, cheese. That might be fun for the middle. Okay. Let's see. Let's put those in there. We could always do cheese as if we're doing hors d'oeuvres first. We'll move this over here. Well, that didn't stay, which that's okay. <laughs> I don't know why fake food just tickles me. Now, we know we have more fake food in here. We could even add some bread. We could add some strawberries. Of course, we probably don't need to add strawberries. We don't need any more red. 
But I know I had some more. Oh, here's another. Another. I had used these when we sold our house in Dade City to set the table. But fake food. Love fake food. All righty. Well, I'm going to keep playing and plugging along, but... What I am so excited about is my list. Nothing like a list. Set the table. We're going to sell that and put the display dishes under the cabinet when I finish this. So, you know what that means, don't you? Another one bites the dust. So, don't forget your list. You guys have an awesome day. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this crazy little spurt up video. So, if you get a chance, if you haven't already yet, hit that thumbs up, the subscribe button, and the bell notification. And don't forget to share. Um, it's not that hard on, you'll see it, where it comes up with my picture and my video at the very bottom, they have a, a share button and you just tap it and send it to a phone number of your friends, your relatives, or who else. So, while I finish my table, pick up the rest of my kitchen and put everything back I'm going to be so excited. One more area is done. Have a great day. Enjoy every moment. Bye.